All right, we on. All right, Shalom Akim. Uh, first of all, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. So, you know, uh, we're the brothers with the SF Bay Area camp. You know, I'm the brother Kanak. I'm Shamar. We are Yahweh. And, you know, this is so called thanks. Uh, we're on the day of Thanksgiving, yeah. which is uh, who, who, the, who the people call Thanksgiving, which is a cel really is a celebration of the destruction and, and, and genocide of the North American Indians, you know, and, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're going to do a lesson and, uh, pretty, pretty much, man, we're, we're, we're pretty much at the end, you know, we're all Esau's, all of Esau's, which is the so-called white man, all his, uh, all the things that he's doing is being uncovered. All right. You got multiple articles online that show you what Thanksgiving is about. You know, all, um, he's getting, he's getting charged for all these sexual abuse cases. All right, uh, these different uh, senators and government and government officials, or even entertainers, all, all so-called white people. Okay, so the Most High has never forgotten the the children of Edom, you know, and we we are not to forget the children of Edom. The children of Edom are you so-called white people, all right? The, the seed of Satan. All right, the Most High he set you up to be uh, to be on, be be the the rulers of the planet Earth for a short season and look. Look what you have done to the planet Earth. You have totally destroyed it. You know, you get Isaiah 24 talks about that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Revelation the 19th chapter talks about that. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Bring your precept. It's Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Yeah, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Okay, because you are your forefathers coming back in the reincarnation. All right, so all the things that your forefathers have done, this is you coming back in the reincarnation. All right, that's why you're you're totally with it. You're not you're not against the society. Here it is. You'll you'll set up a turkey, all right, and and, and cranberry cranberry sauce, you know, and invite all your family, and you're really celebrating the spirit of uh taking taking down the North American Indians, our brothers the, uh, the Gadites, okay, and you celebrate the massacre of the of the Indians. You celebrate the massacre of the so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man, all right, and then you put it under the the guise of a holiday. All right, and, and happy. Okay, now if you bring this up to, especially to a so-called Negro, about the the murder and enslavement of the North American Indians and the and the, the robbery of their land, and then this holiday, they say, you know what? I don't celebrate it for that. I celebrate it. I celebrate it for. Um, I just want to give thanks for whatever you know, whatever they want to give thanks to. I don't think of it as like that. But that that's the spirit that you're coming into. All right, uh, continue. Prepare slaughter for it. For his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land. So the Most High, he's preparing that slaughter. All right, and he's going to use his men to actually um, exact that judgment, to bring that judgment out on um, the so-called white men and the whole white race, uh, so to speak. And can you can you get um, Psalms 137 and 9 also? But it, uh, finish that up, though. That they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. That they... Rise nor possess the land or fill the face of the world with cities because now now you see Esau's is, is all throughout America All right Esau's all throughout America and he and this is not his, his land of nativity All right, he, he migrated over here. All right for what for for the, the for more possession of land and to get rich All right, it wasn't because of religious freedoms All right, it's because you had a lot of a lot of a lot of them damn Edomites which were the low-level Edomites They came to the, they came to America all right, for a better life and to rob and to rob the North American Indians of their land because they knew exactly who these people were. All right, that history was never lost. Okay, go ahead. I. It's Psalms 137 and verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom and the day of Jerusalem. So the Mosai is always, uh, the Mosai has never casted away the children of Edom. He said to remember the children of Edom. All right, just like uh, Edom, he just like Edom uh, puts uh, put, puts all these ho holidays, okay, in the name of taking down the Israelites. We're going to do the same thing in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, we're actually going to have a holiday, a holy day. It's really going to be a holy day, okay, of of America being taken down, okay. And we're going to celebrate that. We're going to celebrate the mass uh, the mass uh, destruction of the Edomites here in America, man, and the deliverance of his of the God's chosen people, the elect. Continue. Who said, raise it, raise it. Which means cast it down, cast it down. This is a time of the Babylonians. When we're, when the Babylonians was cap capturing us, so-called white man, which he's supposed to be our brother, 
right? You, you dare Edomites like to bring out uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 7, uh, how you're our brother, but the scriptures say um, that you have broken the brotherly covenant. All right? When you are supposed to be our brother, when you're supposed to help your brother, you come in the same spirit as Cain. When the Most High said, where's your brother? He said, Where, how should I know? Am I my brother's keeper? So you're, you come in that same spirit as uh, the hatred towards your brother. You know, we can get that uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Go ahead, Rob. Mm -hmm. Who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Yeah, so raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So pretty much totally destroy it. And that's what you that's what you have done today. You want to totally destroy, you want to totally destroy the most high's people. All right, but the Lord said to remember you. All right, uh, you, now all of a sudden the, the, the Edomites, they, they were done away with. What year were they done away with? What year were the Edomites? I want, I, want, I want any biblical scholar to come on the page or do a response video, video do a whole series. You, you Edomites like to make documentaries, put it on the History Channel, the World Channel, all these different channels, okay? When were the Edomites done away with? All right? What, what year? What happened? Who took them down? All right, continue. Even to the foundation thereof. Even to the foundation thereof. You know, this Satan messed with the video. Hold on. Satan, man. Yeah, Satan's hating. Hold on. I'm going to pause it and we're going to come back. All right, Shalom, Mike. And we're back. You know, Satan was trying to hinder the video. But, you know, uh, you know, Satan can't hinder this word going out. You know, he doesn't want this word to go out. Uh, here it is. We get on the so-called white man. All of a sudden, the video stopped working. You know, so we gonna we gonna pick up right where we left off at. Go ahead, uh, read that out. And you got the Ezekiel up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Remember, O Lord, this is mm -hmm. Psalms one thirty-seven and seven. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof." Continue. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. So, uh, read read that again. Uh, read that again, please, Bogus Shaw. O daughter of Babylon. Cause so so and so Edom, Edom and Babylon here are being uh com are are in, in the same um are being uh same they're yeah they're in the same sentence so to speak pretty much synonymous they're synonymous the, the water they're synony yeah. synonymous meaning that the the Babylon and Edom they're they're the same thing the daughter of Babylon and Edom so so uh ba daughter daughter of Babylon is being equated with the children of Edom. Yep. So that's how we know that you so-called white people are the new Babylonians. That's how we know this is a, a ba Babylon. All right, and it's you Edomites that are in rulership. The, the scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, and we know that you so-called white people are the are the are, are the uh, are the wicked. All right, continue. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee, as thou hast served us. So, so we're going to give unto you double because you have rewarded us. How did you reward us? Are you rewarded us by rape? You rewarded by uh, robbery, by murder, and then what did you do? You celebrated it, and you're celebrating it today. All right, in the form of Thanksgiving, which is thanks taken. Thanks, thanks for taking. Thank, thank you for letting me take and come here and kill your kill kill you, man, and murder you, and and, and decapitate you. Okay, they try to put Jake as a face of crime, like you had a. a it was an article that um, I sent out. Where you have the MS-13, they stabbed, they led somebody into a park and stabbed them over a hundred times and decapitated, took their heart out. But well, that's the same thing that you, you Edomites were doing to our people when you came over here. Yeah. All right, killing, killing us by the by the droves, by the by by the millions. All right, you were actually committing acts of genocide. Mm -hmm. You like to talk about genocide and um and, and crimes against humanity. Well, you you're the main culprit of crimes against humanity. Mm -hmm. Are right? you so-called white people? All right, when you came over here to the North, when you came over here to North America, okay, you were giving the, the Native Americans smallpox, man. You were actually giving them the, a disease so you can wipe them out, so you can take their land, so you can take their gold, so you can take their women. This is actually what you have done. All right, you you killed down populations down to down to very low numbers, man. But the scriptures say that um, how how Gad how a troop shall overcome Gad, but, over, but Gad shall overcome at the end. All right, so the Most High, he's not, he's not, he never has done away with the, the North American Indians, and he hasn't done much away with you Edomites either. That's why the scriptures say, "Remember, okay, remember the the, the, the children of Edom, man." Continue on. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. 
So we're going to be happy in that day. And what and, and, and what are some of the things that we're going to do in that day? Read out. Happy shall he be that take of and dash of thy little ones. Thy little ones. So your little baby, your baby uh, Susie Alley, okay, Samantha, Michelle. All right, right when they come out of the womb, man, we're going to be happy. We're going to be... It's gonna, we're going to feel elated and get our rocks off when we take your babies and we dash them against the stone. All right. And, th and this is justice of uh, this is justice of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, because you, you have done the same thing to us, man. And we're going to do it a double unto you in righteousness. All right? Because the, the way that you have taught how God is, how God, uh, his emotions, that he's only love, he's nothing else is, is totally false. And, and, and it's predicated off of lies. And our people have taken a hold of those lies. The whole world has took it over that, that lie. How the Most High is just this soft power. He just he 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 watches all type of wickedness, and he's mm -hmm. totally with it. But the nigga uh, Ross, what was his album called? God forgives, but I don't. That's their perception of the Most High. Oh, he's he's all loving, all forgiving. But but you're different. Here it is. We're we're made we're made just like the Most High uh, High is. Basically, we have emotions. All right, we're not just subject to one emotion. You know. That's the Heavenly Father. So you're basically saying, hey, man, most is a pushover, but I ain't, I ain't on that shit, you know? I don't forgive nor forget. You, hey, you hear this, man, the most high. The most high don't forget either, all right? He don't, and it's certain people, he don't, yes, he's merciful to a certain nation, and right now, to a particular group of that nation, the elect, hey, man, the most high don't forgive nor forget either. The, re the reason people got that false idea about the the most high being about nothing but love is because Esau pushes out um, Cesare Borgia. And that's and that spirit that they push out with that is nothing but love. They teach you that he forgives you if you're a sodomite because they got churches out there strictly for the LGBTs telling them that God accepts you. No, that's just Cesare because he was a sodomite. The Lord isn't all about love. It tells you in Exodus that he's a man of war. So he's not with, he's not with all the stuff that they they portray in this world, saying that he he's he's all loving and forgiving. He only forgives certain people. He shows mercy into certain people, not to everyone. I got a quick precept, uh, just right, just based off, based off of what you guys are reading right now. This is Second uh, Thessalonians one and six. Seeing is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yeah, and they'll they'll teach you in this society that. They like they like so plain example like with us with slavery. They tell us that it, we're supposed to forgive them for what they did troubling us, and even to this very day. But then we gotta remember the Holocaust, Christopher Columbus, yeah. all the things that celebrate Esau slaughtering our people. Nine eleven, nine eleven, and all these different things. But we're supposed to forgive, but Esau can't. But the, the Lord said, seeing it's a righteous thing to re recompense them that trouble you, so yeah. we gonna get our payback. It's like. The brother is reading in Psalm 137. Reward them. Recompense them. You know? Most sides with it. You know? And that's why he saw so proud. He hasn't got that recompense yet. But the Lord, he just let that tab build up. It started from, from, from your ancestors. That tab just been building up. And he's just going to slap that shit right on the table until you got to pay it all at once. And that's when you're asking slavery. You know? Um. Uh, it says, this is Psalms 15 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most high saith, what hast thou to do to, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant into thy mouth? Yeah. And that's, they, they claim that this land was built upon the, um, the, the Bible as the foundation of this land when they break every last thing written in the scriptures. They don't uphold the land Sabbath, the, uh, the regular Sabbath for us. They expect you to, if it's up to Esau, you'll work seven days a week, no rest. Yep. They they don't they don't um they don't uh uh put sodomites to death. They they put them in a, in a position of power. Yep. You know, on a, on a pedestal, you uh, know? allowing women to um gather abroad, giving them liberty to just do anything, <clears throat> mixing seeds, even with animals and in the food, and in your fabrics. Just breaking every every last law possible to break, Esau is finding a way to break it. Even if it's something simple that you can just keep without even thinking about it, Esau wants to just break it. Because he's, he's just naturally contrary to the ways of the Lord. Alright, yeah, let me uh, finish that. 
seeing that thou hatest instruction and casteth my word behind me. Yeah, and you see that with Esau. He always casts his words behind him. He'll, uh, you'll get locked up for trying to deal with a chick that's of age, that's young, but then he can go be a pedophile, mess with little boys and stuff. Or if you tell Esau at your job, I want to take the Sabbath off every every week and changes every every month, you'll get fired. So everything that has to do with the scriptures, Esau casts it behind him. You can put somebody to death for doing something wrong that like they're supposed to get put to death for, and then Esau will arrest you for it. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partaken with adulterers. Thou gavest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. No, we still, no, we still good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we still good. Yeah, thy tongue frames deceit, and that's that's all Esau pushes out is nothing but deceit. That's why these people are heavily deceived, believing in every, all the lies that Esau pushes out. And you got um, you got him basically. He he could whatever he considers fake news is actually real news, and he'll tell you to believe what he say though. Thou sitteth and speaketh against thy brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they speak speak against us on a daily. Every time you see Trump on there, every t he's just gassing niggas. But then when it came to the um, the KKK rallies and shit, he said that he didn't he didn't talk down on on Esau. But then when it comes to us doing things, we're thugs, we're goons, everything else. It's a car rapists. Yeah, they're just every it's a car that come across the border. They just rapists. That's why we need the walls. But you're you're literally raping people yeah. in your own country and in other countries you go visit. Yep. That's why they kick your ass out and say you're not you're not welcome here because you out there literally raping people. Yeah, it's like you go to and Job, they cried after them like as they cried to thieves because you are thieves. You know you perverse anywhere Esau goes. I believe it says that at Malachi, it's the border of wickedness. The border of wickedness, yeah. Yeah. So every and you've been you 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 didn't just get a stronghold here in Babylon. You over there in the Middle East, you have a military base all over the world. Yep. Fucking it up, man. Just stinking it up all, everywhere you go, throwing out. Disorder, okay, bombing places, man, making places desolate, really. Desolate, yeah. yeah. You, know? you know, he sees the harjimer of death. Yep. You know, everywhere he goes, he brings death. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, uh, thou sitteth and speaketh against thy brother, thou slandereth thy own mother's son. Yeah, and, and, and I believe when you when you look into the word, uh, uh, you know, uh, devil, okay, it means a, a deceiver and accuser of your, of your brother. You know, you you really turn back and and, and um, basically uh, tell the heavenly Father, like, look at your people. They're not they're not uh, handling themselves as Israelites. Look, they're basically being heathens. When you when you put it, uh, you put our people in this position. You know, you gave them drugs. All right, you gave them rap music. Okay, you know that's why it says woe to to you that uh, give us thy neighbor bottle. Uh, uh, basically, not quoting verbatim. If, if bro want to bring that out, but basically just to look upon their nakedness. You didn't help. You didn't say you, you didn't put the, you know, put the drugs down. All right, put the crack down. All right, stop committing adultery. You know, you didn't pull out the scriptures on on Jake. I mean, you 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 took um pleasure in our people destroying themselves, and then you turned around and told the heavenly Father, like, look at look at your people. You know. The Lord is not the Lord is not not stupid, man. You know you can't mock the Heavenly Father. You know, He see everything that you devils are doing, and guess what? We're in a time that He's He's exposing you, revealing it. You know, you over here pointing the finger at everybody. Now the Lord is is, is putting putting the spotlight on you. Look at your ass. You know. Yeah, I got what you said. It says um, Habakkuk two and fifteen. Woe unto him that giveth, giveth his neighbor drink, that put up thy bottle to him, and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look on his nakedness. Yeah, given given our people this this these uh philosophies, all right, false sense of hope, all right, drugs, you know, uh 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 all this form of uh, sorcery, okay. You you the reason why a there is a nigga when you the you're the original nigga. It takes one to know one, you know. You 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 created niggas, all right, and we were speaking about that. You're still Esau is still uh, examining the uh, the outcome of a nigga. You yeah, know the effect of a the nigga. effects of a nigga to to this day. All right, what if we what if we throw this in, in there? What if we do that? What if we put them in this situation or this scenario? 
you know, and that's why the Lord, uh, the Lord is gonna have these niggas rise up against you, and you're you're not gonna know what to do because you don't you don't expect Jake to 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 come to his senses, all right? But hey, the Lord, the Lord is is gonna stir Jacob up to see you for the devil that you are, and your same creation niggas, they're gonna they're gonna buck up against you, man. They gonna rise up against you and, and slay your ass, man. You 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 everyday so called uh, white people, you Edomites, all right? It's Isaiah uh, 13 and 14, and it shall be as the chaste roe, yep, yep. and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Mm -hmm. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own land. Yeah, that's that's just the natural way of things. All right, you talk about we're all the same. We're we all bleed the same blood. We're all one. We're we're Americans. This and that. That's BS, man. The natural the natural um reaction for a person is to go back to their own people. You know. And our people know that we're all the same, you know. They just don't. They don't have. They don't have it all the way there. Yeah, Esau. <laughs> Esau sold that discourse. Yep, him. yep. That's right. You know, because that's the reason. That's how he conquered. Mm -hmm. It's called divide and conquer. The mm -hmm. fragment. He fragmented us, meaning to separate and to, to, to break us apart. To thinking that uh, we we can't come together, and even within the tribes, you know, you got discourse among the tribes that yep. you can't come together. So the only way we're gonna to come together is through under the banner of Yah Bashim Al Shai. Yeah. Now the scripture says he shall be as the chase roe, and that chase roe is a female deer. Mm -hmm. All right, and and that's how Esau's gonna be out here, man. He's gonna be out here like a chase roe. All right, because all these other nations they're gonna be looking for Esau, primarily our people. Yeah. All right, and that, and that's when the race wars are gonna come into effect. That's when the Most High is gonna put into their mind that the so-called white man's the devil. You know, right. I'm a, um. Let me let me finish this and then I'm gonna go back to the other scripture. God. Their children also shall be shall be dashed into pieces. Hey man, that's going back to Psalms 137. You know, happy shall I be. You know, hey man, your children, hey, your devil ass, even my children are gonna get messed up. That's why it says in Job, if they um if they be multiplied as for the sword, mm -hmm. you know. So you eat them, you can barely have kids today, man. But hey, if some miracle in your eyes. Your bundle of joy, all right, daddy's little daughter, it's a little slut, devil eat my child. Hey, look, they they're gonna be made to be to be destroyed, you know. So Jake gonna get down, man. And then, hey, man, these niggas has have no standards, no moral codes, man. So what? They don't have the scriptures, man. Man, so they're gonna be doing all sorts of sick things, man. You know. It says, and their children shall be dashed into pieces before their eyes. Yeah, before your eyes, man. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Yep. Your house, hey man, Jake, Jake gonna run up in your house, kick doors, take all your goods. Cause they see how you eat a mice for living, all right? Cause Esau is boastful. You know, he like, I got I got this, I got the good home, I got nice wine, TVs, all you're basically living the luxurious luxurious life that Jacob cannot live. So they know when shit hits the fan, these Israelites are gonna know exactly where to uh, to run to, okay? And, and your wives ravish, man. Rape, okay? Because rape is coming. You think you think it's coming out now that Esau been raping bitches and and all this and that, man. Rape is coming back in the in the high fashion, man. All right, women are nothing but spoiled, man. And it's and it's going to be uh shown uh when when the, when the shit hits the fan, man. Mm -hmm. You know, there ain't gonna be no protection for you wicked ass women. All right, you proud ass disgusting women, you know. You, hey man, you're not gonna have no cuck standing up for you, no Captain Saber Halls. All right, you go, you're just gonna be uh, taken. You're gonna get, you're gonna catch the worst type of hell. All right, cause you, you women are, are total reprobates. All right, so you're in a false sense of reality. It's gonna hit you the hardest. The Lord is gonna get all you people, man. All right, but hey, the Lord is definitely gonna get you Edomites, man. You know? He like the, the scripture that we first. That we first brought out, remember yep. all children, remember the children of Edom. All mm -hmm. right. Because you you Edomites haven't, haven't been forgotten. we we remember you. That's right. All right, it don't it don't matter how much money you put into hiding the fact that you're Edomites, the most high remembers you, man. The scriptures say in the book of Revelation that yeah, yeah. their sins have reached unto heaven. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the most high, he he has seen your sins, so he brought his prophets out there to pretty much proclaim your judgment. All right, we, we're, we're pretty much saying, we're pretty much giving you a sentence right now. Yeah. And then it's going to come to a point in time to where we're going to actually execute the judgment. All right? We're, we're going to actually, the Lord, he's going to use us as his weapons of war. Like he used you as, he used you as a sword. Yeah. Uh, what, Psalms uh, 17 and 13. Right. 
He used you as a sword. The Lord's going to use us as a righteous sword or right, to execute his his anger, his fury. All right. You got a precept out? Okay. It's uh, Lamentations 4 and 21. Yeah. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, man. This, 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 the, the, the daughter of Edom or Edom keeps popping up in the scriptures. All right. So all you, you damn demons out there that don't believe that the so-called white man is Edom, who's Edom? Yeah. Or some, some tribe out there in, in the Middle East. Some red-haired Arabs. Nah, man. That's the children of Edom is here to this day, man. And they're in rulership. They're in power as we speak. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because we, re we read the scripture. I keep bringing it up. Psalms 137 equates Babylon and Edom together. The daughter of Babylon. The daughter of Babylon. The daughter of Edom. You know? That's right. <laughs> so the Lord has given us these, these clues, man, to understand and break down these scriptures and know who our enemy is. Scripture say, never trust thy enemy. And we don't trust you damn devils, man. For sure. Or, uh, you got niggas in the world that might trust you. Well, we, we know we know exactly what's up your sleeve. You damn pedophiles, you homosexuals, you, you, you transsexuals. Yep. All right. You work, you're, you're pretty much, you're, you're the epitome of a worker of iniquity. Continue. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Yeah, what is that cup talking about? It's talking about that cup of slavery. It's, it's talking about that cup of hard bondage. All right, you're going to, that cup that we had to serve, just look at the things that you have done. You know what you have done to us. Mm -hmm. You have it down in the history books. All right, you know that you had us in on these plantations. You know that you came over here and you, you slaughtered the, the indigenous people of this land. Uh, you, you ravaged their women. You had no pity on the age. You had no pity on the young. All right, you gave, you actually operated on them. All right, for the different science, science experiments. All right, you, uh, uh, like the brother brought out, a nigga is a, a product yeah. of Esau science experiment. Mm -hmm. Science experiment. And, and, and it's pretty much an experiment gone wrong, yeah. gone bad. Because yeah. niggas are going crazy. Yep. And it's going to come to a point to where you're not going to be able to control them. Mm -hmm. That's when you're going to have to usher in that, that, that martial law. You're going to have to get. You're going to have to exact uh, uh, um, some type of order, okay? Because it's going to be all type of order. Out, It's going to be all, the order is going to be out of order, man. Your order, which is number chaos, is going to even be more out of order because that's how the Lord, he's setting it up. So the Lord said, rejoice and be glad, thereof, O daughter of Edom. Continue. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. And shall make thyself naked. Yeah, thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna make yourself naked when you're naked. So naked, when you're naked, if you're out in public and you're naked, that's a shame. Oh, here it is. You let women, you let women uh, have their ass out, titties out. Man, we saw a goddamn goof butt naked. Man, he was butt naked uh, at camp uh, last week. Literally had a ride out and everything, man. And nobody that, said nothing. Nobody said anything. Cause that's because you know what. Perverseness is normalized, especially in the city of San Francisco. Yeah. You you go to the city to know that it's going to be perverseness, and the people what do they do? They just go along their day. All right, oh you see you saw a robot or you saw a step bugger. over a drug addict yeah. like nothing nothing on the street. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this place is done, man. Yeah. Read that last part again. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked. You know, you, you get fucking so drunk, you just get butt naked, man. Hey, uh, um, no, yeah, the spirit. Yeah. yeah. You get, you just get, you, you, but you get butt naked drunk. That's how, that's how much, that's how a drunk Esau is going to be in that day, man. To where all your shame is going to be uncovered. And right now we're seeing your shame being uncovered right now as we speak. Okay. Continue. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Thy punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. The daughter of Zion is talking about the nation of Israel. All right? And really, he's talking about the elect. Yeah. Okay? Because the other, uh, the, the two-thirds are going to come. The two-thirds really weren't, they weren't promised really anything. All right? They were just promised that they were going to come back through the elect. So the elect was promised the kingdom of heaven, man. The elect was promised the land of milk and honey. And through the elect, the, the two thirds are going to come back. So those are they're just going to inherit what the elect had to go through, man. Mm -hmm. all, all the hardships and and, and 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 turmoil that the elect had to go through. All right, you damn you by you damn Edomites, man. This the this has been the worst captivity. Okay, continue. 
he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. He will discover thy sin. Um, Habakkuk 2. About uh, Esau, his uh, shameful spewing. Uh, and then I saw Isaiah 47 also. But you had a, you had a precept though, brother. I had was, a precept. I go ahead, yeah. Get, I also had a couple. Of just, yeah, go, get your precept. Don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah, get your precept. I can bring it out or something. All right. Get, get, uh, have a group set. get Isaiah 47 actually. Um, this is. Go ahead. Out. Okay, this is Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able what to. What is that again? I, what scripture is that? Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. Okay, go ahead. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. He has, he has uncovered his secret places. Continue. And he shall not be able to hide himself. He shall not be able to hide himself. So we're coming in a time where Esau can't hide himself. Mm -hmm. All right, the, the implementation of the internet and the, um, how knowledge has spread forth and run to and fro throughout the earth now. To where now you can look up everything. Everything's being brought out. All these different um, whistleblowers are blowing out or whistleblowing on Esau's wickedness. Or you got the Russians that are nonstop, pretty much uncovering the skirt of Esau, okay? And then you got this, you got the, the main source, okay? It's the prophets of the Lord yeah. that's able to pick apart all the dis, the disinformation, the alternative facts that Esau puts out there, the lies, and they're out, they're able to bring out the truth, all right, through the, the, the right way, okay? He and Esau, he can't hide himself now. You, he, he's, he's, he, he can't hide himself now towards the point he got gooks trying to discredit. That we are the children of Israel. They're trying to hinder it. They're trying to hinder the spiritual house being built up again. Okay, continue. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly uh, have a surely drunken. Yeah, we have drunken in that cup. We weren't supposed to drink of that cup of slavery, mm -hmm. the cup of bondage. But we 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 drink of it. So how much more is going to go into? Go ahead. Uh, it says um. In it says, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have a surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished. But thou shalt surely drink of it. Yeah, thou shalt surely drink of it. Um, Esau, you we weren't supposed to take up that cup. We were actually God's chosen people. All right, and you and you and and you think that you're not gonna get a judgment? Yeah. Are you out of your damn mind? Crazy. Here that you you creating humanoid robots. You you have done you have experimented on our women, open up their stomachs, stumped their babies, you have shot us, played uh played uh hunting games with us. Mm. You know, decapitated us, gave us all type of drugs. How did how did how did our people get strung out on drugs? Yeah. You it was you damn devils. How did how did how did Chicago have the biggest murder rate? All right, it, it's because of you damn devils, man. Yeah. Because of the experiment that you have created, all right, and you try to justify yourself and and, and, and cry unto the Most High. Say, look, oh look what they're doing. They're eating pork. They're killing themselves. How can they be the children of God? Yeah. You because you want to be accepted. All right, but you're not going to be accepted anymore on that. Um, well, I'll finish this last precept. I mean, this last verse. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a, repro a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste. Yeah, that's right. Um, get up. Um, um, bring out um, the four, the, the sixth verse out. Five verse forty-seven. Isaiah forty-seven, verse six. I was wroth with my people, mm -hmm. I have polluted mine inheritance. So the Lord, he was wroth with his people. He was mad at his people. You read, read Hosea the first chapter. Yep. Okay. He 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 polluted us. He given us unto you Edomite's hands. All right, it wasn't you you damn devils had so much power. Because you conquered us by by what chemical warfare. Okay? By 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 spying, by turning our people against each other. All right, by by the Gatling gun. Okay, continue. Thou didst. Oh, I'm gonna start from the top. Mm -hmm. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance, and given them no mercy. And given them no mercy. Look how much hell that we have caught, man. You would think that the Most High had no, no mercy on them. 
and so like and giving them into thine hand. And giving them into thy hand, continue, it's gonna say about mercy. Thou didst show them no mercy. Yeah, so thou didst show them no mercy. Go ahead. Upon the ancient has thou he very heavily laid thy um the yoke. Yeah, upon the ancient thou very heavily laid thy yoke, man. Upon our elderly. You have put you have put a, a very heavy yoke upon him, and that yoke it means it mean it pretty much means bondage, man. Yeah. To carry that carry that yoke, to carry to carry that uh that that you got a yoke upon you is is like when you when you have a yoke of oxen, man. Yep. That's plowing the land. You did the same thing to our elderly and to our young. Here it is, you got young strapling men. You 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 lay heavy yoke upon them, but they can they can bear it. Yeah. You put it upon our elderly, and you showed them no mercy. All right. So you think we're gonna show you any mercy, you damn devil? No, we're we're not gonna show you any mercy. Read. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. Yeah. So you said, I, I'm not. I, I'm uh, uh, make America great again. We're gonna be great. We're never gonna go to war. We're always gonna be here for the rest of our life. Okay. Continue. So that. Thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Yeah, so you didn't even you didn't even perceive, or even have the inclination in your mind to believe that you were going to get taken down. So now we're starting to see America crumble. Now all of a sudden you got blacks and Hispanics cursing your ass out. This is unprecedented. This 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 wouldn't have happened in the early 1900s, even going into the 40s and the 50s. This this wouldn't have happened. Or you could have carved us up. You could have killed us. Trump charges on us. Now, now what you have to do, you have to just listen to your judgment. The most high is holding your hand back. You can't, you literally can't do anything. All right. But you, all you can do is just accept your judgment. All right. Mm -hmm. Read. Therefore here now, this thou, that thou that art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly that sayest in thy heart. I am and none else besides me. Yeah, I am and none else besides me. I'm 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 pretty much God. Yep. No other nation can take me down. Look what I did. Look at my technology. Continue. I shall not sit as a widow. I shall not sit as a widow. I mean I will not I will have no loss. I will always be I will always be in that in that in that in that head position. Mm. All right, continue. Neither shall I know the loss of children. Yeah, so I, I I'm never gonna see tragedy. Yeah. You other nations are gonna see tra tragedy. We have seen lots of tragedy. All right, we're we're the product of tragedy. Yeah. All right, we're the product of dis dis uh functioning families, man. Yeah. And if I could add this yeah, too, we were talking about the other day, man. And that's why what what if Jake always seek for him? love? You know, that's why the scriptures say, "Watch him as thy ways to seek love," because. Like the brothers going into, we are the product of tragedy, you know, loss, sorrow. That hey man, that's why a lot of a lot of Jakes be just totally destroyed and destroying themselves, man. Because that's all they know, you know, not having not having a father around. Some Jakes don't even have their parents. Never had knew their parents, you know. Parents probably strung out on drugs, got put to death, you know. Staying with grandma, everything is just bad for us, man. You know, so so you're gonna get. A even worse of a taste of, of what we experience as people, as a nation, really. And look, and Jake's still thriving, though. That's the cold part about it. After all this hell that you put our people through, you know, we're, we're still going, man. You know, especially us in this truth, because we have we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on us. But you even see older Jake's, like the past weekend, it was a it was an elder Jake at the camp. He said he used to be on drugs and this and that. You know, he, he got cleaned up. And he was actually in the spirit. I mean, he had a young spirit on him. You know, he was listening at the camp, say he watched a couple videos. You know, he just wanted to come down and touch bases with the prophets. You know, to, to just see that as a miracle in itself, man. You know, because you see how through our, the rest of our nation is, Generation Z and whatnot. After all that, you still have have certain Israelites that, that still have um, the spirit on them, you know. And we can start wrapping it up. Yeah. On the, the priest, you got to come on precept. We'll bring him out. Go ahead, Doc. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. Yeah. So you, uh, you, you're gonna, you're gonna receive a lot of judgment in, yes, in a sir. moment. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Um, namely, in one day. All right. Before that, you're gonna, you're gonna start receiving a lot of judgment. But the ultimate judgment is gonna come within that one hour. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You know, sorry. And the loss of children and widowhood. The loss of children and widowhood. So here it is: you when you were taking over the North American Indian, where you were taking over the uh, the the the, the, the Latin, Latino tribes, when you when you brought the uh, the black man over here to serve slavery, and you were building up their kingdom, and you were getting all this money. All right, you have all the pleasure, the, 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 all the great things in life. You can send your kids to college. Okay, you at least were just sitting pretty with trillions of dollars. And you didn't think that nothing, nothing was going to happen to America. Well, the Lord said you won't have that loss of children and that widowhood. Mm -hmm. And when you have a widow, a widow's a man, a woman that had her, her husband died from war or something, she's under distress, man. Yeah. She had her kid, he had her kids and her husband gone. Mm -hmm. Man, she's ready to perish. Yep, she's bugging out. She she has no reason to live. Yep. She she literally has no reason to live. She's ready to give the ghost. So that's how that's how you uh you 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 Edomites are gonna be in that day, ready to give us the ghost. And the Most High, He's gonna honor that. Mm -hmm. All right, but He's gonna honor that with a great destruction. Yeah. All right. So here it is, uh, like we say, woe to them that desire the day of the Lord. So in that day, you gonna you gonna want to die, man. Yeah, they said that. Oh, that's the spirit I was about to bring that out in, okay, in Revelation. Yeah. You know, they shall seek death, but they should not be able to find it. Yeah. Death's going to flee from you. <laughs> yeah. You're going to want to perish. Like, fuck, I just lost little Timmy, my wife. You see, you might, just, you know. They kill themselves now when they lose their money. Lose the job. You going So like the bro said, you're going to try to seek death and not find it. You're going to try to jump off the, the Bay Bridge. You're going to slap the water and still be alive. You're going to be wishing you all did perish, up. but you all broken up, just laying there. Yeah, he's going to come grab your ass up, put you on life support. <laughs> 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 and you just, you just bugged out from the bot from the, from you were just a vegetable. He saw just pumping you, pumping blood into you to keep your ass alive. And <laughs> you, you, all you do is watching the news and just turmoil, just testing oh, the man. race wise. And then you're going to hit with a nuclear missile. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. They shall come upon thee in their perfection. They shall come upon thee in their perfect. So it's going to be a perfect work in that day. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, everything's going to line up. All right, the, the scriptures say that none of them shall break their ranks. Mm -hmm. All right, so every every missile is going to land and hit its target. Yeah. All right, and all you Edomites got targets on your back, so to speak. Yeah. Just like you, you when you go to the shooting range, you might have a so-called Negro Hispanic with a fitted cap on. All right, as a, as a, as a target practice, you bust through the door and shoot them a hundred times. Are you gonna have a target in your back in, in that day? And you, and, and literally a, a missile is gonna come for your ass. Mm -hmm. All right. Or before that, you might get killed before that. A yeah. nigga might just pop out of a sewer or something. Yeah. And just beat your ass down with a with a with a club. Yeah, you already you already had a target because what going back to Cain that Mark was set upon upon him and what he say, you know, uh, uh, and any basically a man is gonna see me and they're gonna slay me, mm -hmm. you know, because right now. It's it's so called end to be an Edomite to be a red person, but hey man, we're coming to the time where that's gonna that, that's gonna be the curse that it's gonna be acknowledged as the curse that the heavenly Father set upon you that that's gonna be the target in itself. Oh, it's a fucking devil! Get that devil! You know what I mean? Yeah. They gonna they gonna be able to see it. They gonna be able to see you for what you are, and every nation is gonna be against you, man. You know, so you are gonna be fucked on all on all, all levels, man. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say you should be as a chaste world. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Continue up. For the multitude of thy sorceries, and for for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean we can. I mean, that chapter's yeah, a bad chapter. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we can literally keep going. <laughs> Go ahead, Brock. Uh, bring out what you got. Um, it's the it, the spirit switched, but I was holding okay. this from earlier. This um, Amos one and eleven. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger, uh, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send a fire upon Tegan, which shall devour the places of Basra. Yeah, Esau kept that hatred ever since going back to Jacob and Esau. Yep. He, that that hatred just passed down to to Esau lineage, onto this time right now. Niggas wondering why, like you got like we always say the niggas with the KKK video. He was like, why you hate me? Hey, Esau just had that perpetual hatred for you. It's in the spirit. He he was actually in the right spirit. You're trying to get him out of the spirit. Yeah. When he's actually in his right spirit, hating you. Mm -hmm. But you like going back to what you said. Niggas always want to seek love, and especially from the enemy. 
out of everyone. You don't want to seek love from your own people. You want to seek love from the enemy. But Esau, he always had that perpetual hatred. And it's not going away. And, but he, the Lord didn't forget about that. He didn't forget everything that Esau did to us. That's why his tab is built up so much. He's going to be exterminated. Yep, this is uh, Ezekiel 35. Yep. Five. Oh, you had it? Yeah, right, so like, so like, oh, no, yeah, you got it up. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. That's right. And has shed the blood of thy children of Israel by the force of the sword. Yep, in the time blessing. of the calamity. Yeah. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Yeah, in the time their iniquity had an end. You still wanted to keep on. You didn't want to let us go. You wanted to just keep on just having us in captivity like to this very day. You don't, you don't ever want to let us go. You know, the top elites, they know who we are. They don't want to let our people know. They're keeping us, they're, they're trying to keep us docile because Esau just wanted to be on top forever. But the Lord, he's going to put it into all that. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and thou shalt pursue thee. Oh, and, so like, and blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, blood's going to pursue you, man. Like going back to what bro said, you're going to be as a chase road. Death's going to be seeking you. All right. You're not going to, it ain't going to be no death to where you kill yourself. Somebody's going to come and kill you. All right. Whether it's from a race war or somebody you, you fighting over the last little piece of food or something. Pestilence. If you, if anything, if you die on your own, it's not even on your own will, but you're going to die from starvation. That's the only way you're going to die by your, your own so-called own will. And you're going to want to eat. So it's really, yeah, it's not a, man, you're gonna, you, it's going to be bad for you to eat a mice, man. Mm -hmm. All right, man, woman, and child. All right, you're going to literally have to eat your child, your eat of my baby. Yeah. That nasty, disgusting, pale meat. Yeah. All right. And you know Esau going to eat them raw, too. For sure. Esau ain't going to even cook them. For sure. He ain't going to feel no type of way about eating his kids. Yo, he yeah, going to think about his own survival. Yeah, I got to do what I got to do. He's, son. he's like, he, that's why scriptures call him a beast. Like, you refer to him being as a, 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 a animal, basically, because he was a beast. In the cliffs, you, you didn't even have a language. Okay. So eat, imagine eat. Esau in the cliff starving for, 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 uh, for some food. He's going to eat his, his family members, his, eat his woman. He's going to eat himself. Yeah, he'll, he'll cut his foot off. Yeah. If he had to, he, he can he can still crawl around. Yeah. Esau's that low. And blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, Esau hasn't hated blood, so blood going to pursue him. You, you did nothing but slaughter all of our people to get this land, and you consider to slaughter our people... On top of the blood that's already been shed on this land. Your, 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 um, your sacrifices unto Satan, blood sacrifices, mm -hmm. you know. All, all that, hey man, it's going to come back, it's going to come back knocking at, it's kicking your door down. Really, it's going to knock at the door because you, you devil will keep it locked and, and look through the peephole. It's going to bust your door down, <laughs> you know. And I will feel, uh, uh, and I will make, this last verse, and I will make Mount Seir most desolate. Yeah, the Lord's going to make it desolate when the missiles come because it's never going to be inhabited over here again. Everything that you see over here is going to be just completely wiped away. It's going to be like a file on your computer. You just press the delete button and it just disappears. That's what the missile is going to do to Babylon. It's going to just make everything over here just turn to a pillar of sand. And then nobody's ever going to come inhabit again because that's how defiled this place is, that it can no longer be inhabited anymore. Yeah, we never want to come back here. Yeah. We never ever want to step a foot back in this motherfucker, Why? man. Why? For you niggas that love it here, man, you either a demon or you never been outside of Babylon. You know? Why the hell? You're a you demon, here? really. Yeah. You're a demon. Yeah. You got demons. Yeah, on really. You. That's either all way, you're is. still a demon. Yeah. You're not in your right That's mind. Right. You got demons on you. Yeah. You don't know any better. Yep. So of course you would want to stay here. This is all you know. Reprobate. This is all you believe. You don't believe in the truth. This is a, that, that's what of course you would want to be here because you have no other hope. You don't know anything else. Yeah. That's what. Yep. Literally. Exactly. Exactly. You are just programmed to be a demon, all right, and you and you can't get reprogrammed, all right. You just got to get control, alt, deleted. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is a. Uh, and I will cut off him that passeth out, and him that returneth. So yeah, Esau, Esau, and Esau's land is going to be perpetual desolation, mm -hmm. meaning it's going to be continual desolate. All right, um, the land of the land of America. All right, which is the the pretty much the birthplace of our captivity, yeah, yeah. the hardest captivity that we ever had to serve, and we're we're serving this captivity as we speak. All right, we got plagues, we got infirmities, we got the so-called white man over us being a goddamn homosexual, putting men over women, our children over everybody. All right, pedophilia, ne necrophilia, yeah. all right, every type of philia you you can think of, man. Shit that you don't 
Zoop shit, billion. yeah, there's shit that we don't even know about the Lord yeah. holding us back, man, that yep. Esau's doing, man. Yep, yep, absolutely. You know, he popping animals, sacrificing the animals, and then serving it to you. Damn. Yeah. All right, so, hey, man, you damn Edomites, man. The Lord says, remember the children of Edom, man. We remember you, goddamn devil. Remember all the things that you have done to our people. All right, and we're not going to be like these goddamn, these so-called Negroes and Hispanics that celebrate Thanksgiving. And smiling and smiling in your face and think that everything's cool. No, we wanna we wanna put your ass to death. Yeah. And and due time that says, here are the patience of the saints. Revelation 13, 10 and eleven, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now we're gonna put your ass in captivity. And that's this, the, hey man, that's what we're waiting for, man. That's gonna be the most beautiful day. That's gonna be the most beautiful day in, in ever, man, or the deliverance and the captivity of you damn devils, man. But we're gonna we're gonna put so much hell on you. All right, you're going to know the definition of hell, and we're going to go, we're going to surpass it. All right? It's going to be worth the wait, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's literally going to be man. worth the wait. Yeah, that's right. Because cause, cause when, when you actually be able to indulge, nothing's going to hinder us. The Lord is going to be completely with us. Who's going to stop us from putting hell on Esau? Who's going to shame us for it or, 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 or jump up? Who's going to jump up for Edomite that day? They will get put to death if they do. They gonna want they they wanna they gonna wanna get hands on you as well. You know? Hey, so with that, we wanna give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to our apostle and elders of Great Millstone, yeah. and peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the worship truth series. Shalom on the death to America. Shalom. Shalom. Death to America, man.